A swarm of 1,000 earthquakes hit Southern California You how nervous should we be? Los Angeles You the seismic storm that unleashed more than 1,000 small earthquakes in San Bernardino and Riverside counties these last three weeks elicited what has become a typical reaction in quake country. To some, the swarmageddon 40 miles east of downtown Los Angeles brought fear that a bigger threat was coming. To others, as California has small quakes all the time you a magnitude 3 every other day on average. But not all of them, as officials install more seismic sensors as part of the state's early warning system, experts are getting an increasingly better look at California's smaller earthquakes. There is general agreement that the recent swarm probably wasn't a precursor to a catastrophic quake. But other small quakes I would redefine normal as you should still be prepared for a large earthquake, U.S. Geological Survey research geophysicist Andrea Lenos said. We do know a big earth The last time earthquake scientists were especially concerned in California about a large triggered earthquake was nearly three years ago. On September 26, 2016, a rapid succession of small earthquakes, you the strongest a trio measuring above magnitude, 4.0 you began rupturing under the Salton Sea, close to the San Andreas Fault. Scientists were, their worst fears didn't materialize. But anytime you have an increase in the number of small earthquakes, you're likely to increase the likelihood of a slightly larger earthquake happening, Lenos said. There have long been myths associated with small quakes. Half the people are saying, oh, they're having a lot of earthquakes, you it gets rid of the energy, it makes us safer. And half of them are, the idea that little earthquakes make the big one less likely doesn't work. And the idea that there's only a 5% chance any particular earthquake will be followed up by something larger. The Fontana earthquake swarm that began on May 25th, with its largest event a magnitude 3.2, was much less of a concern you it's quite a ways away from the San Andreas and San Jacinto faults, two of California's scariest. That's why, most swarms aren't cause for concern, and can be thought of simply as a bunch of small earthquakes that are more of an irritant than otherwise, California Institute of Technology seismologist Egil Hauksen said. There was the 20 according to Jones, there's nothing particularly more ominous about swarms versus a single, small tembler. Places that have fluids moving around underground, where magma can heat up groundwater, are more likely to have swarms. They include the salt, there's an ongoing earthquake swarm around the town of Kawea, about 20 miles east of Temecula in Riverside County, that started in 2016 and is moving westward and getting shallower, probably triggered by the movement of groundwater. But it's not particular, other swarms are more concerning. In the Bay Area, the San Ramon Valley has had many swarms over the last several decades that haven't resulted in large earthquakes, Lenos said. One swarm in tw still, that activity is occurring close to the Calaveras Fault, you capable of producing an earthquake as big as the magnitude 7 along the East Bay's Hayward Fault in 1868. Just because it's something we haven't had in the past doesn't mean it's not going to happen in the future, Lenos said. For decades, Jones said, scientists have detected a line of small earthquakes running southwest to northeast between Jerupa Valley and Fontana, on a geological feature called the Fontana Seismicity Trend, which isn't officially a fault. Probably a it's such a young fault, it hasn't coalesced into an ongoing structure, Jones said. While there's only a slim chance any particular earthquake will trigger something far worse, experts say, it's important to not completely relax. When a swarm hit central Italy in 2009, according to seismologist Tom Jordan, one civil protection official sought to calm residents' jitters by telling reporters, the scientific community tells us there is no danger, because there is an ongoing discharge of energy. The situation looked a few hours after a magnitude 3.9 earthquake jolted the town of L'Aquila that April 5th, a magnitude 6.3 struck, killing more than 300. 
and a magnitude 7.3 earthquake off the east coast of Japan on March 9, 2011, led some people to be complacent when, two days later, the historic magnitude 9 earthquake struck. Some people ignore so while some might focus on the chance that the Fontana swarm won't result in a much larger earthquake, said Ross Stein, chief executive of Tembler.net and a former USGS research geophysicist, it wouldn't be surprising if a magnitude 6 or 6.5 struck the area. You can dismiss the swarm altogether, but a you still have an issue that you should address, Stein said. John Vidal a professor of seismology at the University of Southern California, said it can be hard to communicate the risks to the public. The increase in danger from a swarm just takes it from a very low level to low level of danger. And telling the public those slim chances do happen, however. At least three times in California's modern history, large earthquakes have occurred in the wake of smaller temblers. U Central in Southern California, 1857, magnitude 7.8 The last mega-earthquake in Southern California struck on January 9, sending extreme shaking everywhere from Monterey County south to Los Angeles and San Bernardino counties. The main shock at a U Northern California, 1989, magnitude 6.9 The earth was shaking in the months before the October 17 earthquake in the Santa Cruz Mountains interrupted the World Series between the Oakland as and San Francisco Giants U a magnitude 5.4 quake two months earlier and a magnitude 5.3 in June 1988. Jones said many U Southern California, 1992. Joshua Tree Lander's Big Bear Earthquakes following the magnitude 6.1 Joshua Tree Tembler on April 22, used strong enough to rock high-rise office buildings in downtown Los Angeles, more than 100 miles away you kept on migrating to the north. It began the most copyright 2019 Los Angeles Times. Visit the Los Angeles Times at Distributed by Search for location slash city. Raindrop, trip, drop top, top, smoking, no cooking the hot pot. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park pot.